I've got some scriptural report, support to show you why I believe that the first works, the first works that people do is to bring people to Christ. I know, and this is anecdotal for myself, and I know that this may not apply to everyone in particular, but I know that for me, when I got saved, the first thing I wanted to do was tell other people that I got saved. And I'm not saying that because I think I'm such a great person or something. Look, there was many, many years where I was not right with God, and I actually committed even worse sins after I was saved. But the point is that the night I got saved, the next morning, the first thing I did was tell my roommates that I got saved. And I couldn't explain it really well. I wasn't good at articulating it. I didn't have all the right terminology to explain it to them. But I, I told them that, hey, I, you know, I believe in Jesus. I accepted Jesus as my Savior. And I told them that. And that was the first thing that I did. And I told other friends and family. And I told people, hey, this happened. Why? Because it's a big deal. Because I got saved. And that's the first thing I wanted to just, just tell other people about it. Hey, G this is great. Jesus saved me. And this is something that you're going to see throughout Scripture, other people having that same reaction. In John chapter 1, I went over this a little bit on Wednesday night. I don't know if everyone heard the sermon Wednesday night because there was a little bit of an audio problem, but we got that figured out. I think we got it today. I was test, trying to test it all before service. Uh, verse number 40 in John chapter 1. This is when Jesus Christ is recruiting disciples. Okay. Verse number 40, it says, One of the two men which heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. So Andrew hears uh, John, John the Baptist. And then it says, verse 41, He first findeth his own brother Simon and saith unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. So when... Um, Andrew hears about, like, about Jesus, right? Because John the Baptist is pointing people to Jesus. And then he, he sees this like, oh man, so Jesus, he's the Christ, right? He realizes Jesus is the Christ. Now look, I've already said this on Wednesday night, and I believe that all these disciples, apart from Judas Iscariot, were already saved. They were already believers in the Lord. They already had been saved. But even though they didn't know the name of Christ, just like believers in the Old Testament got saved without knowing the name of Jesus Christ. But what, what's, what's interesting here is that as soon as they find out, hey, Jesus is the Christ, the first thing they do is they go and get other people and start telling them, hey, look, we found Jesus. This is Jesus. So this is what Simon, or excuse me, what Andrew does with Simon Peter, right? And everyone knows Apostle Peter. Well, Andrew's brother went and, and got him. It says, we found the Messiah, which is being interpreted to Christ, verse 42, and he brought him to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, he said, thou art Simon, the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation a stone. So that's what, Simon, or what Andrew does. He goes and gets his brother and says, hey, look, we found the Christ. Verse 43, the day following, Jesus would go forth into Galilee and findeth Philip and saith unto him, follow me. Now Philip was of Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, we have found him of whom Moses and the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. So Philip Philip does the same exact thing that Andrew does. He goes and finds somebody and says, hey, look, this is Christ. Look, we found the Christ. First thing they do, they go and find a loved one and go tell them about Jesus. In John chapter 4, we want to flip over to chapter 4, we see the same thing with the woman at the well. Same exact pattern. Verse number 25 in John chapter 4, the Bible reads, The woman saith unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. So she's looking for a Christ. She's looking for a Messiah. Verse 26, Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. So he reveals himself to her, saying, Look, I am the Christ. I am the Messiah. That's me. And look at what you, now his disciples show up, verse 27, And upon this came his disciples and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, why, What speakest thou, or why talkest thou with her? And then in verse 28, so right after he says, I'm the Christ, verse 28, the woman then left her water. She, let, she leaves what she's doing. She's there doing work. She's there going, you know, getting the water pot and bringing it back. And it says, she left her water pot, went her way into the city, and said to the men, come see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? First thing, first work, go out and bring other people to Christ. 